<laughs> we went to college the other day with you, and you were the biggest deal on campus. By far. No, by far. Yeah, it was super cute. <laughs> yeah. Everyone said, Megan, Megan. Like the fifth time they said it, Josh was like, <laughs> and then one guy literally in my ear goes, HUG ME BROTHER! And I'm like, oh, yeah. and I'm like, word. And he's like, oh, you too good for that? <laughs> I'll fucking see what's up. Cool. Well, let me get a picture. I can see the muscles are tense from having sex with all the women. <laughs> <laughs> One goes in the oven. I'm just going to put this over here. I want you to. What does it smell? What does it smell like for my Yelp review? My sister Hamesh pissed on this. She actually squatted and pissed on the towel. I'm going to continue to put the dirt on the feet. I love doing this. Favorite part about Martin has to be. His fake accent. Is this too much dirt, Todd? Can you tell me if this is too much dirt? <laughs> my feet feel really dirty. <laughs> Can you tell me if this is too much dirt? I feel like it's gonna irritate It's not you. too much dirt. It's just enough. <laughs> Todd, my neck is starting to crank. <laughs> Todd, 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 can you tell me if this is too oh much dirt? Oh my god, for Todd! Todd, is this too much dirt? Look. <laughs> Why are they doing their best impression of Jason Nash and his ex-wife? <laughs> I just want to make vines. I want you to get a job! <laughs> Down's national anthem with his national flag in the back. This is our country, Lithuania! David, can we borrow $40? Hey! Reptar and Sphinx, get what are they doing? Jesus! It's like Drake and Josh when he wasn't invited to the wedding. <laughs> I wonder which one Josh is. Oh. Like nobody else has a grill? Yeah, because we're not idiots. <laughs> I do like it for the reason because it's a conversation starter. Yeah, it's like this. Hey, nice to meet you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jim. No, no. Yeah, you got a black no, eye. You poor guy. What police officer did you threaten? He was hooking up with someone's girlfriend. Ah. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I've been checked with the, with the guy's girlfriend. He's like, oh, shit. Okay, wait. Uh, before you punch me in the face, can I finish? <laughs> can we just do a remake, because we never got to actually record this, of David after he cut his hand on the way to the hospital. He thinks his dad. He's like, Dad, I cut my hand. It was for a bit, but it really hurts, so I'm going to the hospital. And just his dad lets about three seconds go by, and then goes, I'm proud of you. <laughs> so this is the kind of guy that Dom is. He'll just go in heavy when he asks for favors, because he knows that he'll be able to get something out of it. Yo, can I borrow four million dollars? No? Okay. But you want to buy me a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Your best impression of Dom. Yo, David, we have history because we both are from Vernon Hills, Illinois, and we had a childhood together, and thus, can I borrow $350? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of loan is it when you give me money and I don't pay you back? <laughs> oh, uh, David, I came up with this hilarious bit for the vlog, okay? Basically, when uh, we have to pay rent this month, you pay it, and then... Views. <laughs> Jason, what are these shoes? Which Power Ranger did you steal those shoes? <laughs> did those shoes come after you won a game of laser tag? <laughs> do they give you those when you turn 40? Like, the government sends them to you, they're like, Happy 40th! <laughs> what was the price of those shoes, not having sex ever? Were those just normal shoes and then you wrap them in fruit by the foot? Hey, Vogue, I'm Josh Peck. Uh, you're not Josh Peck. Oh, you are Josh. <laughs> I'm gonna fact you guys don't know about Dom. Dom buys all his condoms from the dollar store. He buys a 12 pack for a dollar. 12 condoms for a dollar? Six of these gotta be good. <laughs> you know what I heard? My nanny told me today that kids don't take dates to prom anymore. <laughs> Jason, what does this have to do with the conversation? <laughs> Dom's like, yeah, and then I got chlamydia. And Jason's like, my son doesn't play t-ball. <laughs> so then I told her, you can't see the gumball machine. I'm the gumball machine. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Josh. Josh. Joking. Hey. hey. How do you do the Hollywood? Do we call someone? Jason, who do we call? Oh, what is it? Media centers, residents, residents, and affordable. In case of emergency, call. 9 1. Okay. Call 9 okay. 1. Call 9 Josh, we're okay. calling him. Holy shit, David! Fucking idiot! We're calling him, it's okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? Maybe I read it wrong. Call, call 9 1. What's the number for 9 1 1? That's good, that's good, that's good. What's the number for 9 1 1? What? Hang in there, Josh! You were Google searching and porn popped up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like it's about time you tell people about your girlfriend, dude. No, not yet. I'm not ready. You don't want it in the vlog? Why? Because you don't want to ruin your chances with the girls at Coachella? <laughs> Todd's going to Coachella, so you know, like, the Monday after there's going to be a big news report that goes, uh, turns out half of Coachella was impregnated over the weekend. <laughs> this is literally, like, the bro little corner of your bed. You got a bobblehead right <laughs> here. Bobblehead, and you have, like, chewing tobacco. No, you chew? I don't think you chew. What's in there? 
Yeah, oh, that, that makes, makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> well, what is this for? They're my lucky condoms. Todd, you're the type of guy to invert condoms and put them inside out just so you save some money. It is. <laughs> I imagine this is what Todd's like after a shower. Jen. <laughs> 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 Did you hear that Dom is gonna take a girl to prom for two thousand dollars? Where is this poor girl live? We don't know yet. But apparently he's gotten tons of emails. Yeah. I think we've underestimated how many girls in this country hate their fathers. <laughs> Dom shows up to take the girl to prom. He's like, uh, "Hi, my name is Dom. I'm here to take your daughter to chlamydia at the prom." <laughs> it was the 14th anniversary of Drake and Josh the other I day. Fucking. Can we talk about something else? All right, if I make the shot, Josh has to do a Drake and Josh reunion show. Ready? Can I see it though, real quick? You want to see the ball? Yeah, yeah. Let me see the ball. Not happening? Never. The month of January was not good for good old Jason Nash. <laughs> I didn't ask you for money. No, you didn't directly ask me, but you were like, How's it Chipotle? I wish I could afford it. <laughs> I would never take money from I you. Know, I know, but I was gonna offer to pay your rent. That's you. I was never hinting to but borrow I, money from you. <laughs> ever, ever. I can't believe you even thought that. Oh, shut the fuck up. It wasn't like you were putting out an energy like, Woo! Yo, Josh. What? I heard you offering to pay people's rent. <laughs> if you had to ask money for someone, me or Josh. Man, I don't think I know Josh that well to ask him for money yet, you know, but maybe like three months down the line, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> really looking forward to August. <laughs> Dom's like, hey Josh, don't you love the summer? Me too. Can I borrow $74? <laughs> Cause instead of borrowing money, would you ever let Dom stay in one of your guest bedrooms? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck your girlfriend either, unless you wanted me to. <laughs> well, I'm Thanks a lot, Dom. <laughs> and one day I'm gonna come home and be like, ah, oh, great day. Dom. Go for it. <laughs> Homie, we made it. Life ain't nothing but a rebel and a dream, beach. <laughs> Look at this, bro. We started at the bottom together. Now we're at the top of the hill. Top of the hill in your house, and you're 10 years younger than me. <laughs> Way to go, God. <laughs> Would you ever do a sex tape if your career needed the saving? Fuck no, and it does. <laughs> and fuck no. <laughs> Would you say you're good at sex? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. Like the best. I'm pretty fucking good. So if I asked your wife, she'd be like, yeah, he's great? I don't think you need to ask my wife. No. <laughs> Why is that? Because she's not available right now. <laughs> is your wife the best person you've ever had sex with? Yes. <laughs> don't put that in your Yeah, I am. No, I'm yeah. gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Damn it. You want my baby to have divorced parents? You fuck. Why are you dressed so weird? I still can't get over it. Oh, why am I dressed so weird? Fucking captain allergic to a hairbrush? What the fuck is happening? Are you in your own little private tornadoes that we don't know about? <laughs> oh, you don't like my hair? Enjoy Wait. being famous to nine year olds. Been there, done that. <laughs> you make a lot of money, right? I, I guess. But are you happy? Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, you seem so. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you're having a baby. Yes, that's true. Well, you better take better care of it than your career. Or it'll be dead too. Wow. Yeah. That was really fucked up. <laughs> Please be nice to me. I'm pleading. I'm begging. Haven't been treated like this since Megan. Yeah. <laughs> Those two bruises on the knees. What do they represent? That's what happens when uh, you have a job. We have to be on your knees a lot. And uh, that job is uh, prostitution. <laughs> oh. You've been studying really hard. Just reading a book. I love trigonometry. <laughs> But the good part is, every scar tells a story. And those stories are PG-13. <laughs> this is my impression of David walking in on them having sex. Right. That's today's vlog, tweet me at David Dober. Dom, no! <laughs> if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I had an invention idea the other day. This is your ordinary toothbrush, right? What does it do? It brushes your teeth. How do we make the toothbrushing process a little bit faster? Well, maybe by brushing both rows of teeth at the same time. I made a couple prototypes. I'm gonna have all my friends try it, and we're gonna see if we've revolutionized the tooth industry. And the YouTube money's going now. Hey guys, welcome. David Dobrik here. <laughs> okay, come on. You can tell it's not that bad, right? <laughs> oh, wow! Yes. Oh, yeah, you can even hear that. Just cut to a bunch of executives at all toothbrush companies watching David's vlog like... Oh, fuck! <laughs> How did we not think of this? We lost the Dobrik! <laughs> hey guys, I came up with an invention too. <laughs> <laughs> I have something outside for you guys. You guys want to see what I have? You can come too, Jason. I want to play with the play one open the PlayStation. No, no, come here. I have something outside. Come here, guys. Come on, come on. Come they on. just opened the PlayStation. I have what something for Come on, keep them closed, guys. Come on. Open your eyes. Come out. It's television legend Josh Peck and the oh! Pony! <laughs> Alright guys, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, well I never thought it was. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, why is it that every time I see you, you're not wearing any underwear? Do you ever wear underwear? I do wear underwear, David. I didn't get a chance to put any on today because I was fucking late. That makes no sense. Jason Nash logic. I didn't remember my pants because I'm having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine Jason waking up in the morning looking at his underwear drawer and just being like... <laughs> I don't have time for that. 
I feel like there's a lot of different jokes I can make about your career right now. <laughs> Krispy Kreme, what killed him and what gave him his start? <laughs> Me walking up to Josh at his funeral. Josh. 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 Megan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Zong. Thanks for watching Jasper. If you like and subscribe, tweet me at David Dober. Because Josh has been going on a bunch of auditions because it's pilot season here in LA. So there's a really good chance he's going to book a show. The good news is I haven't booked shit. Because he sucks. Yeah. So we got. <laughs> God, love these outros. <laughs> I'm the best actor on the vlog. Well, nice hanging out with you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so much like John Stamos. He looks like himself all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. it sucks. Well, looks like they didn't have to tear this house down, Josh. Yeah, well, when you have an asshole sister who basically blows up the fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Michelle, come out! <laughs> I didn't record it because I was nervous. You didn't! I had my camera on. <laughs> I was recording, and a security guy comes up. He's like, anybody here an employee? And I go, it's John Stamos. And he goes, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Do you care about Josh at all? No. no. Is he doing his whole, he doesn't care about me bit? Oh, he did. Yeah, like six statements. Josh, why don't you follow any of us back on Twitter? You know, I've been thinking a lot about it. I'll tell you why Josh doesn't follow people on social media. He's jealous of what I post. I post by QJS, Cobra Cock, and you can't handle You can't handle that a person who used to once watch your show has a bigger dick than you. What's really funny is the full circle nature of my relationship with Big Nick. Because I met him like two and a half years ago and he gave me his number and he texted me for about six months. Straight, and I was like, we'll get to it, I promise. <laughs> and now here we are. I didn't have anything against you, I just was like, oh, I'm sure this will happen eventually. <laughs> I'm sure I'll hit rock bottom enough soon. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Isn't that a metaphor for your video? Oh. Sun's always shining on David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean that you guys are both Jews? You guys say that a lot. Jews are fearful people. Yeah. What are you guys scared of? They exterminated six million Jews at one point, <laughs> so that tends to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost over it. <laughs> <laughs> seem just like a regular person like it's weird for you to like we are but if shit went down Jason and I would be giving each other the <laughs> <laughs> would you make out with Corinna if you told your wife it was for a role in the vlog <laughs> that's he has a child. I mean like that, that's the thing is like what what separates acting and the vlog right pay <laughs> So Riley came over the other day, she texted me some very fun things, because I've never seen anybody text me anything like this ever, and I don't think I ever will again. Here, actually, you read them. I already see a lot of wet emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, all of David's replies are, ah! <laughs> I love how you're trying to dance around this, like Riley writes, you should let me come over tonight, wet emoji. <laughs> and David writes, huh, where to? <laughs> she writes, I like boys who play hard to get. To which you write, ha 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 ha, well I must be great. So she writes, so that means you'll fuck me, right? <laughs> to which David writes, I don't think that's what that means. <laughs> How often do you text people like that? Not often. Oh well, yeah, I text a lot of people like that. <laughs> Hold on guys. I don't mean overshadow, but I just got a text from my wife. Oh. We can't pay rent, call David. Okay, <laughs> Where do you make most of the money from right now? Turn the camera around. <laughs>